So, um, I'm pretty sure most of you saw the trailer for ne Disney's next live-action remake, Mulan. Now, before I go any further, uh, let's talk real quick about the casting for uh, the Little Mermaid live-action film. If you have a problem with casting this character as an African with an African-American actress, let alone trying to use science to prove that a non-fiction, a non- existent creature with science, trying to use science to prove that mermaids, something that doesn't exist, was purely white, please kindly get fucked. Please kindly get fucked because your racist ass just can't get over the fact that we have a black character as the lead. Let it go, alright? Just as Elsa would say, let it go. Anyway, so let's talk about Mulan. Um, this is actually one of the few live-action remakes I was kind of excited for from the get-go, because this was something I thought could really work well in a live-action sense. Now, this, obviously, let's talk about what we know so far, is that obviously there won't be any songs, I don't think they're going to have Shang in here, which makes no sense to me. That's the only one negative I have. The songs, yeah, it's gonna suck not to have, um, not to have, like, Make a Man Out of You, something I listen to while working out, honestly, and, um, that sucks, but it was nice to hear a little um, a musical cue from the song Reflections, which, of course, that's the song, you know, second, I'd, I'd argue, like, it's either Reflections or Make a Man Out of You are the two biggest songs of that, um, original animated film. Now, the other thing they've announced is that there will not be a cricket... I think... Actually, no, I think they did say the cricket was going to show up in some capacity, but Mushu was not. Which, again, eh, I'm, I'm at peace with. If this is supposed... This is supposed to be a more darker film and follow the original myth, of, Chinese myth of Mulan. Which, yeah, I'm... If I'm being honest, I kind of want to see how a Disney take on a martial arts film is because they're solely using Chinese actors, and a lot of them are credited for being, you know, having some martial arts skill. So, that's cool. Um, I rather, I rather like that idea. I rather like the idea of having a full Chinese cast and not, because I was honestly afraid that they were going to try to whitewash this in some capacity. I, Disney, while they try to be, they try to say they're inclusive, you know, they're, um, they're all inclusive. They sometimes have a tendency to whitewash every now and again because you know the mouse wants to make money above all else. Let's be real here. The real magic is money. So I was surprised and very thankful that we're getting an all Chinese cast. And the this actually what's kind of fun is that it doesn't feel like a Disney movie. That's what's really surprising to me is that this in no way, shape, or form feels like a straight up Disney movie. This feels more like a film, like right out of, you know, something like um, House of Flying Daggers or Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, or Dragon Blade. It really does feel more like that, and it kind of took me a moment to realize I'm watching Mul a trailer for Mulan, a, a Disney film, and not a film by, uh, you know, not a film of, um, you know, a martial arts film from, like, Donnie Yen or Tony Jay or something like that. I'm not what I have to remind, I had to remind myself, and that's actually for the better. I feel like this, this movie can really dissociate itself from the animated film without the need to really depend on, you know, the gags and what have you. And not to say that, you know, again, it's gonna suck not having the songs there, but maybe, much like in the trailer where they had reflection as a musical cue, I have a feeling that there's going to be a training montage, and maybe we will get, like, musical cues from To Be A Man. And that, I think, is what probably might happen. I also like how they've really paid attention to a lot of detail in here, and it's kind of hinted that Mulan is going to have someone being, she's being forced to wed to, which is going to be interesting to see how that will play out. Um, is that character going to be like the new uh, the person to replace Shang? Um, something of that capacity. And we also see, we don't really see her in the quote-unquote ping persona in the trailer. We really don't see that. What we do see... Um, 
what we do see is her a lot in um, her regular, you know, dress. We do see her in a lot of the regular dress and her fighting in that. So it makes me wonder of how long is she going to pretend to be a man in this film? Um, it's also clear that she is also like this version of Mulan wants to be a soldier, whereas it was more of a duty thing where to protect her father from, you know, dying from sickness or death because he was old. This feels more like she wanted to be a soldier from the get-go, which if I remember right, that's how the original myth went. That's how the original story went for Mulan, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, Anyway, this was a really good trailer. I'm very much excited for this. This is one of the few, like I said, one of the few Disney remakes I was excited for. The musical cues and Mushu I can live without, you know. If we, you know, if we can't have Eddie Murphy back as a live-action Mushu, which would probably look very ugly, let's be real. If we, if you guys thought the live-action genie looked bad, I can only imagine what a live-action Mushu would look like. I'm also curious to see how... If, we did see little shots and pieces of who I think is Shun Yu. We definitely saw the fan, uh, the, uh, the his Falcon Hayabusa, but we I'm curious to see how like I really want to see like a full on image of uh, Shan Yu and how they'll do him because if we're being real, while Shan Yu was very physically imposing, he's kind of a forgettable villain. He's really like he's just there, like he's just a there villain. Sure, he looks cool and he looks cool and scary, but he's kind of forgettable in the echelons of Disney villains. So hopefully, much like with Shere Khan, not that you know the animated no ill will towards the animated film, but that Shere Khan was definitely a more like a more physically imposing and mentally imposing villain. So I'm really hoping that they'll um, they'll do the same for Shan Yu. Then again, I was hoping for that for Jafar, but from what I understand, because I haven't seen the movie yet, um, Jafar's just kind of there. And that was kind of a problem with a lot of the live-action remakes, is that the villains still, like, the villains now feel more and more forgettable. And I'm not counting Malef Ma the Maleficent movie, because they try to make her a hero and ruin the character, and I'm not interested in that sequel at all. I'm ranting at this point. But, yeah, the only one of the live-action villains who have really kind of had an uh, a upgrade and really done better was Shere Khan of these Disney villain remakes. Although, you could argue that the um, the stepmother from the Cinderella live-action remake also did quite well. But honestly, if you were to ask me, I'd say Shere Khan. Here's to hoping that, uh, that Scar also gets um, some good screen time in the upcoming Lion King movie. But at this point, I'm kind of ra ranting and raving. Trailer looks good. I'm interested. I'm very much interested in the movie. So you guys tell us in the comments below. What do you guys think of the live-action Mulan movie? What did you guys think of the trailer? Did you guys like it? Hate it? Um, what do you think of it being a full-on martial arts movie from Disney, no less? And if you're new here, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this with your friends, family, and whoever share follows you on Instagram. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.